Today, I'm going to show you how to fillet and cook your fish at home. I'll be demonstrating on this beautiful snapper that was caught here in South Florida. And tonight, I'll be making a coconut curry crusted snapper. So let's get right into it. I'm starting with my fillet knife and I'm making a cut right behind the head and the front fin at an angle. Then I'm gonna flip the fish around so that I have a little better access to the spine. Using the tip of my knife, I'm gonna cut directly down the back of the fish, trying to keep the blade pointed towards the spine. Then with my free hand, I'm going to lift the meat away and make small cuts running my knife along the bones until all of that filet meat is free. I like to poke my knife all the way through at the bottom just above the tail to make a really clean cut. Now different fish are going to be ever so slightly different but in general this is how you fillet any fish. The one thing that you do need to be aware of is some fish have extra bones that run through the meat so you just want to feel with your fingers and if you feel any bones all you have to do is cut them away or they can be removed after cooking. And now it's time to remove the skin. To do this I like to set the fillet on the edge of my cutting board that way the thickness from the handle of my knife is able to hang off the edge and it doesn't end up getting caught on the cutting board itself. I hold the skin down with my left hand and then push the knife forward, keeping it perfectly parallel with the skin. This can be tougher to do on fish with thinner skin, so just keep that in mind. Once all the skin's removed, the last thing to do is to cut out the bloodline. And for this snapper, it's really easy. I'm just gonna cut on each side and then peel it away. There you have some beautiful little chunks of filet meat. And now it's time to make our delicious recipe. First thing to do is add some canola oil to a cast iron pan and allow that to heat up to temperature. You're aiming around 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then to make our breading, I have an equal mixture of coconut flakes and breadcrumbs. And to that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of curry powder, and some kosher salt. Make sure to mix that together. On my next plate, I'm going to scramble two eggs. And on my third plate, I have simple all-purpose flour. Now the sequence is to first dip the fish in the flour and then dip that into the egg mixture. Once it's coated in the egg, you transfer it to the breading mixture. It helps if you keep one of your hands as the wet hand and the other hand as the dry hand. Otherwise, you'll start to get clumps of flour and crumbs building up on your fingertips. Repeat that process with each fillet until everything is coated up nice. Now it's time to fry. Because these fillets are relatively thin, it won't take very long, just a few minutes for each side. Once they reach a beautiful golden brown color, set them onto a paper towel to allow some of the excess oil to drain off. All right, let's give it a try. It's sweet and delicious. I love the coconut, I can taste the curry. I'm eating it as is tonight, but this would be really great with rice and some kind of mango salsa. It's delicious. That is it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Take Me Fishing YouTube channel. And for more helpful fishing tips, visit takemefishing.org.